Hey guys, in this video, we'll focus on layer 2 of the OSI model. As I mentioned in part 1 of the video, the MAC address is on layer 2, which is considered the data link layer in the OSI model. The data link layer is divided into two sublayers the logical link control layer, which provides service to the upper layers, and the media access control or MAC layer, which performs layer 2 functions like physical addressing and switching. Let's start with the basics and simplest form of communication on a network, which is a frame. A frame is the smallest unit of bit on a layer 2 network. The same way a digital video has a sequence of frames, frames are received from and transmitted to network cards or network nodes on the same local area network. Frames have structure or format and is used for error detection and correction. Not all the frames are carrying user data. The network uses some of the frames to control the data link. At layer 2, device network cards which provides interconnection has a unique physical address assigned to it known as MAC address. MAC address consists of 48 bits written in hexadecimal form, usually separated by a colon. It's unique to each device, and the first three octets or the first three bytes usually identify the manufacturer of the network device. This MAC address can be considered as the digital fingerprint of the network card. Now communication among all these devices simultaneously requires another network device we're all familiar with, which is called a switch. A switch has ports, which enables interconnection on a layer one level between all the network cards and nodes. Switches come in different port sizes and some are layer two only. Enterprise managed switches are now both layer two and layer three. All other devices are connected to these ports. Forwarding is the relaying of packets from one network segment to another by nodes in the network. Whenever any machine sends a packet to any other machine, when the switch receives the packet from the network device, it checks for the destination MAC address. The switch then compares the destination MAC address with its MAC address table for the corresponding MAC address. Then how is the MAC address table created? Well, it's through a cache memory called forwarding table or MAC address table, which stores which machine is connected to which port by storing the MAC address, which is also the physical address. Host devices or machines use ARP in order to determine the destination MAC address as it is required to be written in the packet before being sent. ARP stands for Address Resolution Protocol and is used to obtain MAC address on layer 2 and also works in conjunction with layer 3 using IP addresses. Broadcast a broadcast domain is a logical division of the network where all the nodes on that network can be reached by a broadcast at layer 2. Broadcasting refers to the transmission of frames to all nodes in a network. Unicast Multicast At layer 2, unicast refers to sending frames from one node to a single other node. Multicast refers to sending traffic from one node to multiple nodes. VLAN Segments of a logical network can be linked at the frame level using bridges and bridging creates separate broadcast domains on the LAN, creating VLANs, which are independent logical networks that group together related devices into separate network segments. The grouping of devices on a VLAN is independent of where the devices are physically located in the LAN. Without bridging and VLANs, all the devices on the Ethernet LAN are in a single broadcast domain and all the devices detect all the packets on the LAN. In part 3 of this video, we'll discuss more about forwarding, routing, the IP address layer, and IGMP. Like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to ask questions.